Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a quick mod on how to remap that Netflix button on the brand new Nvidia Shield remote. They announced a brand new remote with the Nvidia Shield TV and the Nvidia Shield TV Pro. So that remote had a button that only launches Netflix. So one button, one functionality. Today, I'm going to share with you guys a mod that allows us to be able to launch three different things out of that one button. So multiplying the functionality is always good. This is TK. Let's check it out. and hit that bell icon so they are always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. The process to be able to remap the button that we have here is actually not that complicated. Right now, if you basically want to be able to use this button, you just press it once and it'll open up Netflix for you. And that's basically the normal functionality that we have built into this. What we're going to do today is customize it to not only actually be able to launch Netflix if you still wanted to do that, but also be able to actually launch up to three different things at the, uh, basically depending on the combination of buttons that we're using. Now to do so, we're needing to download an application. This is going to be available on the Google Play Store on your Nvidia Shield. Now keep in mind that you can actually do this with this remote, even if you decide to buy this remote later on when they make it available as a separate uh, accessory to your older Nvidia Shield, since for the most part, this is a Bluetooth accessory. So I'm hoping at some point they'll make it available. So once you do that, this is going to work exactly the same for you. First and foremost, download the application called Button Mapper. Button Mapper is a premium application, so you, there is some free stuff and then you need to be able to get the premium stuff. You'll notice there's that little lock next to the back button. But it enables us to basically map or remap functionalities onto other buttons in there. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how we're remapping the Netflix button, but in theory, you can apply some of these things to the same, all of the other buttons on there by using the combination of, of actual buttons. Now, by default, you'll notice that there is no button for Netflix because this is not a standard button on most remotes. So what we need to do is go down to add button and then under add button, we need to go ahead and say add it. Now, I already have it added to my actual shield, but for us, if let's say we were doing it for new, we would hit the add button and it's going to ask me to push the button. So I'll go ahead and push a button on mine. Uh, now it says here media, uh, media play and pause. That's not what I want to remap, but for the most part, you could add it this way. And then what you're going to do is push the button for Netflix on your remote. Once you have that, and then it'll add the button and it'll, you'll be able to basically go in and customize it. Now to customize it, and you notice right there, it's asking us for pro features. You don't have to, but if you do definitely support the developer, if you like this product, uh, we need to turn on the customize option. So turn that tick off on. And then of course you have the ability now of customizing into three different ways. You have the single tap, which used to not launch Netflix for us. Now I want it to launch my Google play music. I'm going to keep Netflix for me on double tap and, or I can basically put Plex. I can put Cody. I can put whatever other application that I have in here. Last but not least, I still like to consume uh, YouTube stuff. So I made the long press be in YouTube, double press be in Netflix, single press be in Google play music. Uh, you can add a button vibration here, but it doesn't really actually change. Uh, now, uh, Zello PTT, press and hold, oh, so it put the talk. So that one isn't available. As you notice, it has the pro feature. So we'll go back, we'll go ahead and go home. And for the most part now, the way the remote was working before, it works the exact same way. Although there may be a slight delay. And when I mean by slight, I'm talking about maybe an extra second whenever you push the command. So an example right now, if I push the Google Play Music, I just uh, did, it'll launch it because it was in the Recents app. Um, if I want to be able to launch uh, Netflix, double press, and it'll do the exact same thing and it'll launch Netflix for me. You notice there was a slight delay there again. Overall, it's not an over, uh, a very big delay that it would cause us to not enjoy using this, con this kind of uh, actually interface because what it's doing, it's, it's circumventing the command between the remote and the Nvidia Shield and launching the command that you want it to do so. And of course, if I press and hold, it's gonna go ahead and launch YouTube for me. So overall, very, very nice, very simple. Uh, and you can remap it obviously to other buttons on your, on your controller or your remote if you'd like to do so. so it's just very simple and easy. Download it directly from the Google Play Store, install it, and like I said, if you'd like to support the developer, make sure you go ahead and uh, buy the pro version of this. As you saw, the process was actually very simple. Download the application straight from the Google Play Store, add the button, and remap it. Uh, and you can do all of this with the free version. You don't actually have to go to the pro. Although as a perk, if you do go to the pro version of this application, you're able to remap all of the other buttons. As you saw, there was a little lock on some of them. Uh, but again, for me, I like to keep Netflix as that's something that I use all the time. I added two additional functionality, basically tripling the functionality of one button on that remote. Now, the remote currently is only available with the NVIDIA Shield TV and the Shield TV Pro. So if you're picking up this device or one of these two devices, uh, this is definitely going to make your experience so much better. And it's just easy to do. Just download it and install and make sure everything works great for you. 
Now, at some point, I hope NVIDIA will start selling this remote as an accessory the way they have their controller. And that means that we can bring some of these functionalities to earlier generations of NVIDIA Shield uh, streamers. So for the most part, once you get this remote, this should work for you very easily. Let me know in the comments below. Of course, if there's any other mods or any other tricks that you guys know about NVIDIA Shield uh, units that will allow you to actually enjoy them even more and make them so much more powerful. This is TK. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe and share with all your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next video.